Thanks, Parisa. And to everyone watching right now, welcome again to Chrome Insider Browser Tips and Tricks for IT Admins. I'm Maxim Martin, Product Manager for Chrome Browser Cloud Management. Today, myself and a few of the customer engineers on the team are going to take a deep dive into new and upcoming Chrome features so you can learn how to get the most out of Chrome for your business. You'll see hands-on demos and learn useful tips for managing your browser deployment. If you're watching live, we'll be doing a Q&A throughout the presentation, so please drop your questions in the chat below and we'll be answering them as they come up. At the end of the event, we'll have a brief survey. Your feedback is very important to helping us build the kinds of events you want to see. So if you take the time to respond, we'd really appreciate it. Let's take a look at what we're planning to cover today. First up, I'm going to be walking you through our roadmap. I'll show you the latest Chrome features and give you a sneak peek at some upcoming releases that will help you and your team work more efficiently and productively. After that, Alex will cover Chrome Browser Cloud Management with demos on Jamf integration, bookmarks, remote commands, and more. Next, Fletcher will take us through the popular topic of extension management in Chrome, including new features to increase security and make extension management quick and easy. Finally, Helen will be joining us to talk about managing updates with a focus on some new policies and features that we cannot wait to show you. We have a lot of great tips and exciting information to share with you today. So without further ado, let's dive into the roadmap. At Chrome, we're constantly working on new products, new features, and new updates. But how do we keep track of everything? It's through our product roadmap. The roadmap is, just as the name implies, a map to everything we've released, everything we're going to be releasing soon, and everything we have in development. So in my session, I'm going to give you a look at some of the roadmap highlights, starting with some of the great features that are already available to use. Top of the list is Chrome Browser Cloud Management, the centralized management portal that lets you easily manage Chrome deployments across OSs and devices right from the cloud. In the next session, Alex will be walking through Chrome Browser Cloud Management to demonstrate the basics if you aren't using it yet, as well as more in-depth information for current users. No spoilers, I promise, but I will say that we've been thrilled by the response. And if you haven't started using cloud management, now is a great time to start. Legacy Browser Support is a feature that allows admins to run Chrome for most of their organization's workload and automatically fall back to a legacy browser when users need to access a site that only works in that browser. When users visit a site that is incompatible with the latest version of Chrome, they will automatically be redirected to a legacy browser that works for that site or app. You can even choose which apps will open in the legacy browser ahead of time to make the process as seamless as possible for your end users. Our customers have asked for legacy browser support for IE mode on Edge, and we're excited to announce that it was recently launched. In January, we launched comprehensive version reporting in Chrome Browser Cloud Management. Now you can see which versions of Chrome are deployed in your enterprise on Chrome OS, Windows, Mac, and Linux devices. iOS and Android version reporting will be available soon. In session four today, Helen will be showing you where to find version reports and give a brief tour of the information you can learn there. Versions are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the information you can find in Chrome Browser Cloud Management. With the apps and usage report, admins can now see all install extensions, PWAs, Chrome apps, and R++ apps across their entire fleet, including app versions and permissions. This is incredibly helpful for compliance and making sure everyone in your organization is using the most secure up-to-date versions. Remote commands allows admins to choose the profile they want to target and then send a remote command down to the browser. Our initial set of remote commands let you clear browser data remotely. We'll be adding more commands in the future to give IT admins even more control to assist their end users from afar. We build this functionality because IT admins said that clearing cookies and cache are the most common tasks they have to assist their end users with. 
We've recently added a ton of productivity features to help end users get their work done easily and efficiently. Some of these features include tab groups and tab search, performance enhancements, the ability to mute notifications, and enhance options for working with PDS within the browser. Now let's take a quick look at what some of these productivity tools look like, starting with tab search. Have you ever had a tab open that you're sure is in one of your windows, but you can't find it? Or have you ever had to find a tab quickly while giving a presentation? With tab search, you finally have a way to find the tabs you're looking for quickly and efficiently. Once you have the tab search policy activated, end users will notice an arrow icon at the top right corner of the Chrome browser. When you click on the arrow, you'll see a list of tabs that are open across all Chrome windows in the drop-down box. You can also open tab search using Command plus Shift A on Mac or Control Shift A on PCs. I'm going to search for the keyword policy and the search results will display all the tabs related to that keyword. I can then decide to close a tab by clicking the X icon or select a tab to open it. No more need to hunt around through all your tabs anymore. With tab search, you can find what you're looking for right away. Now, let's take a look at the tab groups feature. Remember when we used to do things on paper? If you're like me, you might have gone to school with a binder or a trapper keeper of folders that you'd carry around from class to class. When you're in the math class, you open your math folder. Science class, your science folder. Everything you needed right there in one place. Imagine tab groups as your folders of work. When you walk into a meeting, you open the respective folder for that team's projects. All of the other tab groups that you don't need for that meeting are closed, freezing any resources they may use. This allows you to have hundreds of tabs loaded without taxing your machine. The first step of tab grouping is to add a tab to a group and in this case, I'm going to create a new group. I will name this group Chrome Policies and then choose a color. End users can easily identify a tab in a group by looking at the group header and the color of the group. Now let's add a second tab to the group. You can see that both tabs are highlighted by the group color. When you click on the group header, it collapses the group. And starting in M91 beta, these tabs will no longer use resources. With the tab groups feature, end users can easily organize their tabs and categories in order to support the work that they're performing in the Chrome browser. Last but not least, in the recent releases, there's BeyondCorp Enterprise, a new security product in partnership with Google Cloud. BeyondCorp Enterprise is Google's zero trust solution that provides simple and enterprise-grade secure access to business-critical applications and cloud services directly from Chrome. Given the increase of cloud services available in the browsers, this feature will be super useful for enterprises. BeyondCorp Enterprise allows you to enforce granular access controls to apps, VMs, and Google APIs, and implement strong authentication and authorization policies to keep your organizations secure while allowing your end users to access the resources they need. It gives you enterprise-grade threat and data protection built right into Chrome. Beyond Core Enterprise is just the latest offering in our continued goal of making Chrome a vital part of your enterprise's security framework. For more information on Beyond Core Enterprise, visit the link you see here or in the resources section below the video player. Those are our most recent releases, but at Chrome Browser, we're always working on the next thing. So let's talk about some of the exciting features coming down the pike in the next few quarters. One feature a lot of customers have asked about is an easier way for end users to request extensions. We're introducing extension workflow to make the communication between end users and admins easy and streamlined. In session three, Fletcher will give you a preview of extension workflow and show you how you'll be able to implement it in your future deployments. As workforces went remote over the past year, management of mobile devices became a huge issue for IT admins. 
Soon, you'll be able to make sure your mobile fleet is just as secure as your on-prem devices with Chrome browser management on iOS. You can easily configure policies for Chrome on iOS via Google Admin Console, Jamf, or VMware WS1 AirWatch to keep your end users safe and your company data in your hands. Along with iOS management, you'll soon be able to manage your Android devices from the admin console just as easily as your Mac, PC, and Linux devices. You ask for more management flexibility, and we heard you. Groups give you an entirely new way to organize users apart from organizational units. Now, users can belong to multiple groups at once. For example, the sales department could have one set of policies, people on Windows machines could have a different set, and people on Windows machines in the sales department could yet have another set. We have a lot of exciting new integrations coming up, focused on addressing zero trust, data security, and reporting needs. With our zero trust integration, Chrome will let you grant secure access to web applications using a set of device and browser signals that continuously authenticate users with more context. In data security, Chrome will identify sensitive enterprise files and save them directly to your cloud file system when users download them from the web or your intranet. Lastly, in reporting, Chrome will give you more visibility on security and performance events right on your organization's IT monitoring solution. So that's what we've been working on lately, but the Chrome browser team is always developing new features that will make Chrome stronger, faster, and more secure. If you want to stay up to date with new announcements, sign up for our release notes at the link you see here to get new release information right in your inbox. And if you're excited about some of the capabilities we've talked about today and would like to help us test new features, sign up to our Trusted Tester program at the URL you see here. It's a great way to try the latest features before anyone else and provide our team with valuable feedback to help improve Chrome for everyone. And just a reminder that all the links you see in the event today will also be available in the resources section below the video player. Thanks for joining me on this close-up look at the Chrome browser roadmap. Now I'll turn it over to Alex Bauer, who will take you through the ins and the outs of Chrome browser cloud management.